Hi, I'm Tim from Nexmo, and today I'm going to show you how to build your first voice application using the Nexmo platform. Together, we'll build a Hello World type application that uses the Nexmo Voice API to make an outbound call to the number you provide. Once the call is answered, it'll play a predefined message using our text to speech capabilities to deliver a message to the recipient. To use the Nexmo Voice API, you must create an application within the Nexmo platform. Nexmo applications contain configuration for the web application that you are building. You can create a Nexmo application using the Nexmo dashboard or via your command line using the Nexmo command line interface. Once logged in, click on Voice in the menu at the top. Then, on the left-hand side, click Create an Application. Give your application a name. We're going to call ours My Voice App. Next, we need to provide an event URL. This is the URL that Nexmo will make a post HTTP request to whenever an event takes place related to your application. For example, when a phone call starts, completes, or if any error takes place within your Nexmo application. Provide a default answer URL. This is the URL that Nexmo will make a GET HTTP request to whenever a phone call related to your application is received. Nexmo uses asymmetric keys to authenticate requests to the Voice API. In order to do this, you need a public and private key pair. You can add your own public key in this text field from a key pair that you generate, or you can auto-generate a key pair within the browser. Let's generate a key pair. The private key will be automatically downloaded. Save this to your new application directory. Finally, click Create Application to save your new application. In order to receive phone calls, you must associate a phone number with your Nexmo application. The first thing we need to do is purchase a phone number by clicking Numbers at the top. Click Buy Numbers on the left and search for numbers in your country. Purchase a number now. Next, click on Voice, followed by Your Applications, to return to our application. Edit the application you just created. Click on Numbers at the top and link the number you just purchased before saving the changes to your application. With the Nexmo application created and configured, we are now in a position to use the Nexmo Voice API to do things such as make and receive phone calls. When you created your Nexmo application, you provided an answer URL. When Nexmo receives a call to a Nexmo registered number, it performs a lookup to determine which Nexmo application is linked to that number. Nexmo then makes a GET HTTP request to the application's answer URL and expects instructions on how to handle the phone call to be returned in the response. You instruct Nexmo how to handle the call using Nexmo call control objects. NCCOs contain a list of actions that the Nexmo platform steps through. In this case, our NCCO defines one simple talk action. It's so simple that we use a static hosted file. However, you can set the answer URL to be your own web server and dynamically construct the NCCO return to Nexmo. Hi, this is Russell. You are listening to a text-to-speech call made with Nexmo's voice API. Here's how to make a phone call with the Nexmo Voice API. I'm going to use PHP, so I install the Nexmo library using Composer. Once that's installed, we can create index.php and set up the Composer autoloader. To use the Nexmo API, we need to authenticate our requests. We authenticate using our API key and secret, as well as providing our private key and application ID. Once we set those up, create a new Nexmo client instance, passing in the credentials. Next, we need to actually make the phone call. We provide the phone number to call and the Nexmo number that the call is from. In addition, we can override the default answer URL provided when the application was created. When the call is answered, Nexmo makes a GET HTTP request to this URL to receive instructions on how the call should be handled, just like with incoming calls. It's important to know that the FROM number must be a Nexmo phone number that is associated with your application. 
If we now run our code, we'll receive an incoming call from our Nexmo number that will speak to us using text-to-speech as configured in our NCCO. Hi, this is Russell. You are listening to a text-to-speech call made with Nexmo Voice API. And that's all there is to it. One application, one Nexmo phone number, and a few lines of code. That's how simple it is to get started with the Nexmo Voice API.